So my thoughts were, how do I get the signal strength from point A to some place far away like point B? Oh, and here's my helper, Sammy. Hi! That was okay. And Sammy's here today. She's actually got a task. She's going to be pressing my reset button. You see the button says press to reset. Uh, and you'll see why that's needed in a little bit. So over here, I've got my signal strength on measuring. This is where I would change the measure. And currently it's full. And you'll notice that over here, the, my meter, my redstone meter, says it's empty. So we are ready to reset. And right here, I have a very simple, um, it just sends a single tick uh, pulse on drop. It's just a single tick um, pulse drop. Or actually, it is a five tick, four tick pulse drop. But anyway, um, so when I push this button, what will happen is it will cut power to this redstone torch which will allow whatever signals in here to flow out into this loop. Now this is the same loop that I had before, my redstone memory source. It's just got two comparators on each side with the exception that right here it drops one signal. So if a four goes in here, a four comes out here, and then it becomes a three, and then a three loops around. And every time it loops around this repeater gets the signal and sends it out. Now I have a little pulse counter right here. All this does is for my own benefit to know that the signal pulses are going. And then the signal pulses come out over here. And I'll explain this device in a second. But first, let me transmit the signal and you see what happens. It should be 15. it sent 15 pulses and the signal strength is 15. Now if I come back over here and change the value, drop it all out, let's change it to let's say 1, oops, change it to 1, my bad, and then Sammy presses the reset button, <laughs> push the reset button, you notice it didn't go to, it didn't go to 1, and that's because over here I have to retransmit. So if I transmit the signal of one, it does successfully update. And if I change the signal to eight, if I were to retransmit it, don't hit reset, and I retransmit it, you'll notice that it actually becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the problem is that's because if I transmit it again, it'll go all the way up to 15. See, every time it gets a new pulse, it just adds one. In fact, it, can't, it added too many. So you need to push the reset in between. Go ahead and push the reset, Sammy. I'll change this to zero. And let's see how this is working. Every time a pulse comes in, it turns off this redstone. Now, the question I had very quickly was, Here's a lovely loop that subtracts one. Every time it circles, it subtracts one from the loop. Could I add one signal strength to the loop with each circle? And sure enough, I can. Over here, here is a very simple loop. But you might see some strange things going on here, and I'll explain what's going on. Sammy's head's going to fall off again. <laughs> what's going on here is the signal strength. Let's say the signal strength currently looping is five. So signal strength of 5 comes in, goes over to here, and now right here, this is signal strength 15, and this is subtracting 5 from 15, so the signal strength is now 10. Now it comes up here as 10, comes over here as 10, except that when it gets here, this is a 15, 15 is going in here, and 15 is having 10 subtracted from it, and so 5 comes out, and 5 loops around. So all this does is invert the signal strength. However, if this little torch is off, then this redstone, this uh, repeater right here, tells this comparator to take whatever signal is behind it, which is exactly one, and take that signal of one and dump it out. So take this signal strength of, of one and put it into here. This one right here, therefore, subtracts 1 from the value. So, 
let's say the signal strength is 5 again. Signal strength 5 comes around. Oh, 15 minus 5 is 10. Oh, 10 minus 1 is 9. Up here, oh, 9, 15 minus 9 is 6. And now the signal strength is 6, and it's been increased by 1, and the pulse is increased. This, this is awesome. This does what I wanted. It allows me to send a series of pulses across the board and to slowly increase the signal strength. But for me to get a new measure from way over there, I have to push the reset button and then do -do 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 run way over here and press transmit. And then the new, well, the signal strength is zero, but then the new signal would transmit, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a measure here that automatically updates over here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I pushed your button for you. All right, so this this does the job, but it didn't do it successfully, and I'll show you what my next idea was. And say goodbye, Sammy's back. Oh, bye. bye.